So here we are. Winterize your boat made easy. We love it and you'll love it too. Save at least $100, maybe $160, depending on your marina. This works with any outdrive motor, the process I'm going to show you. VH, you got to remember, plugs on both sides, manifolds on both sides to drain. Four cylinder engine, only one side to drain. Six cylinder, depends on what type you have, inline or V6. So, like and subscribe, post notifications on. Sit back, enjoy this video. We're going to have a good time winterizing our own boat. Time to winterize the boat. Green shirt, green boat. Hey, we're ready to go. First thing we're going to do is pull the prop. Then we're going to warm up the motor on the muffs with the hose. Then we're going to shut it down, drain the water, and we're going to then run some pink antifreeze. We're going to show you how we do it the quick and easy way. Stay tuned. Sit back, like, and subscribe. Post notifications on. Don't miss a thing here. All right, one of the first things we do is we put stable in the fuel. It's best to put this in before you leave the marina to tow it home or wherever you keep it to bring it home or before you move it around a bunch. The good news with doing that, mix as well while you drive. We're gonna take the prop off. Down inside the prop, and I know you can't see that, but now you can see that down. You gotta bend these up so that you can turn the nut. Wrench, inch and a sixteen, case of our drive. Board. <laughs> Don't have to take the prop off. I do when I go in storage because it hits the wall. When you take it off, you gotta remember you've got this uh, bushing, don't lose it. The market, there's lots of different style muffs. This is a single feed, uh, we got a dual feed. We'll use the dual feed when we do the antifreeze. We'll show you how we do that. All right, so you can see how these muffs go on, kind of seals up, hose feed on the other side. Uh, we're gonna run the drive down close to the ground, turn on the water and crank her up. So uh, let's give us a minute here. You always want your drive down like this. Don't dare start it with this all the way up. It's real hard on your U-joints. Make sure you do it this way. Typical what you're seeing because there's a pump in there. That pump does not let the water pass into the block. close see right there's the drain see how it drains if you don't get good flow take that out and uh, run an allen wrench in there and get that to drain good and see that coming out make sure your plugs out of the bottom or you'll fill the boat with water now we got to do the manifold too and that's underneath this manifold right here so we're gonna wrench we're gonna take that out or again so you can see that water coming out of the manifold it doesn't come out good, make sure to go in there with the uh, Allen wrench and clear it out. While we let that drain, let's go set up the other side for running some pink antifreeze through it. What we've got is we've got a bilge pump we're going to put in there to pump the water. We're going to put this on here. Little duct tape. So there you go. I'm going to put these on the boat in a minute. Get our battery set up. We're going to show you that next. All right, there's a knot in the positive side.
test that. We know that's going to work. Now we got to get our antifreeze in. The bulk off season, two bucks a gallon. Now, go up and plug the motor before you, uh, those two things you open, you got to go put them back in uh, now that the motor's done draining. All right, so plugs it back in. You can see how that's pushing the water, leaking a little. We can move that a little bit. Start it up. your boat's going to come up to temperature real fast so remember that uh, I'll show you how to get the water out of here in a minute big stuff we're going to pour it back into the gallons be all set it's always hard to get this off you need a knife Go off For anybody that thought that duct tape wasn't going to hold, look at that. Now, put your jug in here, your hose in here, hook your battery up. Hose in the bucket. Remember, it's gotten much hotter at this point. That fluid's pretty warm. You can see how that flows out really strong now. You can see she come out pretty good now. So now we're just going to let her drain. Uh, once it's done draining, we'll uh, crank it over and pop it off and shut it down. That clears the pump. Don't run your motor dry, it'll wreck the pump. All right, winterized boat. Hey, we hate this time of the year, but if you do it right, save money, do it yourself, store it at home, save more money. We love boating and we love doing it cheap. So there you go, we'll see you dockside, like and subscribe, post notifications on. Our boat is officially winterized and uh, like I say, I don't fog the motor only because I only go for a few months and I store inside where it's dry. So again, see you in the next how-to video.